Inlet Europe, and I'm with Mark Ellsberg, author of more than one best-selling thriller and this morning's guest speaker at our keynote. Mark, welcome. Hi. Um, your novel, Blackout, uh, clearly ever so well researched. What first drew you to looking at the electricity industry as a subject for a novel? Well, actually, it was not even the electricity industry I was looking um, into in the beginning. I was looking into um, all the countless interdependencies our modern system depends on. And I tried to tell a story um, how it enriches our life and makes it possible, how we live it comfortably, healthy, long. And then the idea was, well, to make it aware, I just have to take it away. And then I tried several ideas like taking away financial um, systems or taking away communication systems or logistic systems. But in a world where everything needs electricity, because everything these days contains a little chip, um, it's the easiest, the most efficient and the quickest to take away electricity. And the impact is enormous. I wasn't aware of it. Um, only learned it through my research, and well, readers did it well. Now, more recently, the electricity industry um, or the energy sector has been looking more at the environmental impacts. We've just had COP26. How do you feel about that? Do you think that's to the detriment of energy security? Well, I think it goes hand in hand. There was a lot of talking today and will be in the coming days here on this um, fair and will be everywhere um, about the energy transition of the coming decades. And this transmission to the renewables is absolutely necessary. If we, if we want to save, not the planet, if we want to save our civilization, and um, since we are to rebuild this system basically completely in a new way, we have the great opportunity to also built in a lot of security, safety, resilience. And, um, therefore, I think that's not an either or. It's a great opportunity to have it end. But finally, I wanted to ask, you know, your novel describes a sort of dystopian world. Things go horribly wrong. You've spent a lot of time with energy professionals, not just here, but in the, over the last few years. How do you now reflect on the, uh, the, the strength of the industry and the professionalism of the people involved in it? This actually really has been a quite interesting journey for me over the past 10 years when the f book was published first. Um, I think in the beginning, really, there was not much discussion about the challenges um, neither about the coming transformation of the system and of the importance of energy supply, electricity supply. Um, this has changed a lot and what I also witnessed over the past 10 years, that 10 years ago many people in the industry would have said we won't be able to do that, um, we don't want to do it, it's not necessary and if we do it blackouts come and the whole thing will collapse. And there has been a, a real change in mindsets during those past 10 years. What we still miss, though, currently, is to act upon it. But I get the feeling that by now also this has started. Mark, thanks very much for your time. For more news and information about the energy sector, sign up to the Enlit community and uh, join us for future broadcasts.